what is up YouTube and welcome back to Bike Hub Japan so yesterday was a very big day for me and my friend Chris because it was our first ever motorcycle race so yeah if you remember a while back I did a uh, first ride and review video about um, the KO KO uh, 125 mini GP bikes or 150 even sorry well yesterday um, Byron, the guy who runs the company that imports them into Japan, um, let us enter a race with him. So the teammates, my teammates were Byron and Chris. So for Chris it was his first ever time riding one. For me obviously it was my second time. And um, yeah things sort of felt different yesterday. The bike was actually a different bike than the one I'd ridden. But I just couldn't get comfortable and you know at the beginning of the day I was feeling pretty downhearted, but uh, anyway, I cracked on with it. Well, how do I put it without being rude about myself? Fucking shit. I'm like doing one minute three, I think, which is like the slowest of everyone here today, even the people on 50s. And I've totally lost motivation now. I'm kind of embarrassed and just want to go home. So the race itself was a two hour race. Um, I think it was 130 kilometers. Uh, so the la laps, I think we got in total like 120 laps before the race had finished. Um, and I think there was about 20 teams entered. So it was quite, quite um, dizzy, but it seemed to be whenever I was on track, there was not really that many people to follow. So yeah, what was different as well, the track, when I rode it the first time, there was no chicanes on the track. It was just basically, uh, it, was a, it was a much faster, more free flowing track. But yesterday for the race there was a chicane uh, after the first corner and then another one just before, well I don't know, how do I explain? There was, two, there was basically two chicanes that were never there before so I find it, found it really difficult to get to grips with the, the line, I just couldn't get it right. Every time I was either running over the chicane or going onto the grass a little bit and yeah basically my first session, the qualifying session, um, so Chris had never ridden the bike before, so basically Byron took the bike out for maybe five laps just to shake it down because we made a lot of changes to the bike in the morning. So once he decided, yeah, the bike's good to go, then we let Chris ride it basically for the whole whole of the um, whole of the time. And then the last ten minutes, I think I rode it again, and yeah, like I said, downhearted. I was just I couldn't believe how crap I was. I think in the maybe in the qualifying i think i was the slowest person there at the whole event not just out of us three like the whole <laughs> the whole the whole field i was the slowest one and i just i just didn't know what i was doing wrong like obviously the chicanes were, were screwing me up a little bit but i just felt like there was something else missing i was just maybe it was i just wasn't as comfortable on the bike and whatever you know i've got a massive excuse book so i'm not going to go into it basically i just wasn't feeling it Fuck, you know, that was a disaster. Couldn't get used to the chicanes. Yeah. But anyway, after we had our briefing, uh, safety briefing, um, we all were sort of getting ready, got our leathers on, got our helmets all cleaned up and all that, ready to go. And uh, at that point, I was feeling super nervous. I'm not really, I don't usually get nervous or like anxious or anything, but I was super nervous. And because of my poor performance in the uh, the first qualifying the qualifying session, I was literally like, oh, does somebody else want to take my place? I really didn't want to ride because I knew that my lap time sucked so bad that I'd maybe mess it up for the rest of the guys. But um, anyway, I did it anyway. But yeah, I was feeling sort of ah, motherfucker, feeling sort of down. the hell is that window tint all about it's a bizarre looking car so the start of the race was a Le Mans style start so they had to the riders had to run from one side of the track to the other jump on the bike then start the bike and then get going that's one of the things that um, I hadn't anticipated in endurance racing from other videos I've seen normally when people do a rider change or start the race the bikes in gear with the engine on and somebody's holding the clutch ready for them so you just literally jump on the bike and go but here um, we had to turn the engine off every time we did a rider change or came into the pits 
so a couple of times well actually the it happened to us the first time that when the rider changed we forgot to turn the ignition back on so they were kick-starting the bike maybe five times it wouldn't start and then, so then we realized shit the ignition's off and uh, it didn't just it wasn't just us that that happened to we saw a couple of um, the other teams make the same mistake so as it was a two-hour race and there was three of us we all did two 20-minute sessions each so obviously as you could saw from the start Byron started and then the next because I was feeling so nervous again I let Chris go second even though the plan was for me to go second <laughs> and uh, yeah so I went third In actual fact that ended up being pretty good because it meant that I was the one that finished the race so it felt more maybe it was a bit more special for me because I was the one that crossed the line on under the checkered flag <laughs> which is kind of funny because I saw the guy standing there with the checkered flag but he was holding it still so I thought that meant last lap so when I saw that I, I did a really fast lap well, my fastest lap of the day thinking that the race was still on and it, they, that was like you know last lap kind of early warning but actually it was the end of the race so even though the race had ended I carried on doing a really fast lap and it meant that I was the last one to get into the pits at the end of the race towards in my second session I was starting to feel a, feel a bit more confident I still wasn't doing good times and I was still having trouble getting the, the line correct those chicanes just I don't know why they just blew my mind so I just couldn't get it couldn't get it right every single every single lap but uh, the cool thing is it was Chris's first time on the bike and on his first session he started doing consistent like 56s which is pretty good I was doing like a minute flat pretty much the whole time so he was getting 56 second laps which we both thought was pretty good me and Byron were like oh damn he's a natural and then in his second session um, until this point Byron had our best time which was I think 54.7 or 54.8 something like that so it's pretty good pretty good time and then um, yeah then Chris went and beat him so the best our best lap time of the day was 54.6 I think so pretty good <laughs> considering it's his first time on the bike and his first ever race he was doing extremely well which I found really annoying damn you Chris <laughs> so the overall winner of the race was a guy on a GSXR 125 so that's um, if anyone's a fan of the 44 teeth channel that's what uh, Fagan and some of the other boys are doing endurance racing with and yeah they were they were pretty damn quick there was only one of them and the rest of the field were NSF 100s and stuff like that there was a couple of two strokes as well um, but yeah that uh, GSXR 125 was pretty damn fast looks like they spent a lot of money on the bike but uh, yeah the guy was pretty much ripping it <laughs> ripping it out there so yeah we didn't win any awards yesterday I don't think uh, I think we finished fourth to last overall um, I don't know what what we finished in our actual class but um, yeah the, basically the, re the results aren't so important for, for me anyway uh, I know Byron was hoping probably hoping we got a better result but um, it was just so much fun and uh, once I got my nerves out of the way it was it was a totally enjoyable enjoyable day so 
I'm hoping to do it again soon. The next one is actually on April the 4th, but I don't think I can get the day off work, so I probably won't be entering that one. But uh, one, <laughs> we got one prize actually. Uh, Chris is the only person of the whole day that crashed. <laughs> so Chris had to go onto the podium at the end and he received a, uh, a daikon, which is like a massive vegetable. It was kind of like a booby prize. <laughs> and they played like that music, like wah wah wah, when, it, when he was on the podium. So yeah, Chris got a, a prize for being the only crasher of the day. So well done, Chris. But yeah, like I said, it was a totally enjoyable day, super, super fun. And if anyone else out there in the world watching my videos can get an opportunity to enter a, a race on, on a small bike rather than a big bike, definitely do it. It's so much fun and it's great practice and great learning as well. Um, so yeah, fantastic day. Again, thank you very much to Byron McNichols who runs Misano Motor Imports Japan for letting us ride his bikes again. All right, guys, the full video will be coming out soon. It's just kind of like a preview. I uh, actually ordered a DVD from a professional cameraman who was there on the day, so I'm going to steal some of his footage and uh, mix it in with my helmet cam footage and uh, hopefully make a decent video about it. So, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye for now.